Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith, and it is time to do the update of my every dollar budget worksheet. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some transactions down. Let's make this happen. So of course, as usual, I'm going to be scrolling down to the bottom. Wait, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Part of the reason that I'm scrolling down to the bottom is because I just like to start there. Um, but this is going to go right here. This is Chris's paycheck. Ta-da! Oh, let's change this too so that the number changes. Really? I guess... <laughs> Pardon me. I have terrible, terrible allergies right now. All right. Now I'm finally not over. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and move myself over here. Now that I've done the only thing that like requires this right here. All right. Sam's Club, Cuyahoga Falls. That is groceries. And I know that that is $7 and butter. And a five dollar thing. I just wish I could remember what that was. I cannot. That's unusual that I can't remember. Um. All right, so twelve forty right here. Let's see what this is. Online payment. Ah, six dollars and thirty seven cents. If you remember from last week. I said that whatever my weird overage number is going to be that was at the bottom of my spreadsheet, I was going to start sending that to the Akron Children's. This is it. So let's just do Akron, or not Akron Children's, Akron General. Ta-da! Yes! Okay, so that's like a little tiny snowflake. I'm going to flick it. Flick. Flick. <laughs> and then I did another one because I did some numbers and... Oh, and because this was the Ebates money that came in. If you remember that I said that anything that I get from Ebates... Um, I thought there was something else that that I would send that directly to um, my debt. And this, I got I got my big fat check from Ebates. And so I just sent $10 directly to Akron General. So let's go ahead and get that coded right. All right. So here it goes again. It was meant to go at the same time, but it lagged. It took a lot of the fun out of it, didn't it? Flick. <laughs> Flick. <laughs> All right, so this is $30. This is $30 that I send to Capital One, and it does get split between Chris's Weekly and gas and oil. That's... um so that Chris can just use the card at the gas pump. It's $5 for the weekly. Um, he likes to um, sometimes buy things out of the vending machine and it takes the card and it takes cash, but the thing is, is sometimes it takes like a 20 and gives you back 19 $1 coins and that just is like, doesn't work for him in general. So. He just likes to have the option to swap the card. So forty-nine eighteen. Oh, I don't even remember what this is. Come on, buddy. Oh, 
that's Chris's thing, was 49.18. Oh, it was my bulletproof stuff. Okay, so this is, I'm going to put this in groceries. It does, I didn't factor that into groceries. It's going to make me over. All right, it is what it is, right? I mean, I got to I got to do it correctly, I guess is what I'm saying, not like case raw raw, but like I need it to to be characterized properly and category categorized properly in and groceries is exactly exactly what that is. Giant Eagle is definitely a grocery. Duma Meats is definitely a grocery. Oh, but you know what? Part of this was not mine. $3.11 was mine, and the rest of it was my mom's, and she gave me money for it, so we're just going to do this. This deposit is $527, and this is my Amphium refund which I promptly turned around and paid USAA, you can see right here. <laughs> um, let's see here. This, I don't even need, need to edit this, I want to, I know it's dumb to do it this way, but for some reason I just have a mental block with doing it another way. Okay, so let's do Chris's Weekly, because Chris's weekly is twenty dollars of it, and then I think this Christmas is the rest of this. All right, twenty. Yeah, that's right, three ninety. I remember that number because it was like a weird. That's why I had to go into the bank, and that's when I re saw that camera rounds at the Britain Road Chase has been elevated to the branch manager. And she was a really nice lady that helped me a lot with notarizing a bunch of stuff like three times for um, when Wes died and dealing with that was very upsetting. Okay, so car insurance. This is 6414, this is car insurance. I know what that is. It was just like right there, and I'm like, I'm going to grab that. Um, and in fact, I'm going to grab a couple. Um, grocery things like Mark's Chapel Hill. Dollar Tree. And Aldi's. All we got. Good, good, good. Okay. I don't know if Henry Beers is categorized here or other things because all right, we're going to put it here because I clearly did not do it. All right, so we're going to put in grass and yard. And I'm just going to put in this 30, that's so frustrating because I know I'm going to have to re-click open everything up, 3619, we're, you know, we're going to do, we're just going to drag it over and that way it'll be there and I can click in there. All right. Oh, why does it keep doing this? Okay, 3619, that's done. Um, the next thing was we had that unplanned, I know, like, duh, 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 who does, who plans, it? no one. There was a death in Chris's family. His cousin, like his first cousin, slash 
stepbrother, you do the math on that one. When somebody is your stepbrother and your cousin, yeah, right? Somebody's figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, he had... You know, you always want to be sensitive to the family, but at the same time, you want to speak plainly. Um, I believe that it was a heroin overdose. It, it was it was a drug overdose of some type, and we believe that it was a heroin overdose. Another family member found him in a nearby garage, like somebody's house. He didn't die at home. He died like next door ish 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 it was it and, and he was young he was like 26 I mean you know he was not he was full grown but he was he was not like he wasn't the social security crowd he wasn't the kind of group of you know people that you even in the back of your mind are prepared to like he wasn't like a soldier in a combat area he wasn't like a police officer, a first responder that gets into situations, you know. He was just like a dude. Oh, he died, I guess. And so that was very difficult to deal with. I mean, it was like, like I said, last minute moving around. Um, so let's see here. We're just going to put funeral. Because both of these transactions are for the funeral and whatever that is going to end up being, I'm going to, I'm going to put both of these in because, um, we have an easy pass and that, that way they, you can just drive through the, the, like the quickie scan lanes. And that's what this was for. Totally worth it totally worth it. Also, you pay less, like you pay a percentage, like 25% less or I don't, whatever. You get a discount on the actual tolls themselves when you use the transponder thing. And it is, uh, all right. So the last thing was mother's day. If you watch my vlog channel, you'll know and this was this was planned. It was actually on my other sheet. I'll sh I'll show you in a minute. Um, I had forty dollars budgeted, and we came in under budget. It's you know it's so ironic that for Mother's Day, like what do we do? We want to eat Chinese food, <sighs> Singapore rice noodles, or chow mein. Oh, so good, so good. So. Look, I'm $20 over again. <laughs> but it's okay because in case you also don't know, <laughs> if you haven't been watching my vlog channel, Chris is on mandatory overtime this week. <laughs> he can't catch a break. He Last week he said that he was going to do no overtime. And then he like texted me right away, like two, Monday, Tuesday. And he said he did it so that like the entire building didn't have to come in on Saturday. So this week he's like, I'm not doing any overtime because last week I ended up doing like three, he ended up doing like three days of overtime and he took like a half a day for the funeral and it just, it was very stressful. It was like long drive was like how it ended up. It was supposed to be like this and it ended up being like, <laughs> so he went ahead and, um, didn't take any overtime and sure is shenanigans there is a, a notice and they had to have a meeting everybody everybody in the building is coming into work on Saturday 8 to 4 so of course I poked the bear and I was like ha ha this is what happens when you don't take any overtime everyone has to come into work I think it's a miracle everyone isn't laugh isn't mad at you so this paycheck that we get on the 19th will I believe it's going to be, in fact, you know what? We can just kind of estimate. Because I know this isn't a completely right number, but see, we're still to the good. So. 
you know what? I don't, okay. Yeah, everything is good here. I'm just double checking everything. Yeah, this is absolutely right. Okay. Um, you know what we do need to do? We did take Carly in. Why does it have a balance? Oh, well. That and because this has four hundred dollars in it, and it was a three hundred dollar thing, so we have one hundred dollars in this. I wonder, can I just make it happen here? That's why it's not doing it. Okay. Ta-da! All right, so we have $100 in in this sinking fund because I had $400 saved. It only cost $300. Boom. This needs to be a fund, too. How did I, how did I skip all of these? What? Oh, I like the line. Neither. <laughs> okay, so I'm all done here. This is actually scheduled to come out of the paycheck that comes today. Also, the remaining $24.57 is scheduled to come out of, you know, I'm just going to take you over here because I'm talking about stuff. Um, so this this is the paycheck that is coming out today. This, this is the paycheck that I just spent. So um, you see the grass seed, the funeral trip is here, the last of the diapers. Oh, okay. Here is because restaurant is what I had the the eating out as the the Mother's Day stuff. So I had money set aside for this in the budget to make sure that like there was cash for it. Okay, so that's where it was. I'm like, why is the Mother's Day down here? Because I knew that I had already talked to my mom, and we had both wanted this Chinese food because it's like special to us and it's like something that's safe for us to eat out and some other stuff. So I I just put it in eating out because that's what it was. So of course. When we get it, everybody gets it. So it was like a big family round table. It was really nice. We enjoyed that. Okay, so for this check that is coming in today, this is how I'm planning to spend this once we receive it. Um, it should be this 573.49 because of the overtime. I had to look just just on a side note for here and for this. We we know that Chris will have like 50 and a half hours. I had to go back to July of 2016 to find a paycheck that only had like 50 hours. I'm just looking for a round number. So that's where I got this number. Also this number, it it's like I can look and kind of like see what it is, which is cool um, from his like paycheck company. So that's why I have this number before like we've gotten it. Um, and that's where I get these numbers. So I, if I have an idea of what his, how many hours of overtime, I have kind of like a ballpark of what that is. So that's why I have a number plugged in and I'm kind of planning on that. So, or based on that. So here's, we have Chris's $50. Again, $25 goes to the car or $30 goes to the card for gas and like swiping money at the vending machine. And then he gets $20 in actual cash. $100 food budget, which is cool. The um, grocery shopping for... Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday for um, the week. And then our road and food snack type stuff is coming out of this 100. It is 
we are required to pay our baby delivery payment um, uh, the third week of the month. I, I negotiated it that way. They were like, we, we know that you're telling the truth because nobody calls and does this much negotiating about like how much it is and when it can be and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I was just honest with them. I'm like, I don't want to pay on the first. It's really hard. It's I'm like the third week of the month is my sweet spot. And they're like, cool. Um, we're going to pay the $3.88 to the tax bill because when I went in and double checked it after I got on this bulletproof diet, like I finally had like the mental energy to like start to go and do some of these like, like thinking tasks. And I was like, I sent this money and I knew I needed to, um, to double check and make sure that like they got it, you know, cause it's really important. It's like my real estate tax for the house. Um, and I mean, they'll send me a bill for $3.88, but I wanted it to be done. So uh, when I saw that we still owe three eighty eight, dollars here it is. Got it on the list. Going to get that paid. $27.64 is all that's remaining for the six months at USAA. Just going to knock that out and get it done because it's such a small thing. I'm just not going to piddle around with it. $15 in um, spending money for me. Yay. And then we have a remaining two sixty-five for Christmas, and I should just make this two seventy-five. And then I'll have two dollars and seven cents. Did that not? Oh, it's still going over here. It takes forever. So then I should have one hundred two point zero seven, and then I should have a magic zero down here. The magic of the internet. It has to really, really think about this. She's got to think again. Ah! <laughs> You can see this one's already been done. Like I already got it kind of worked out, but I don't actually send this until almost like the end of the week after I get this, like the Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday, because sometimes stuff changes. But so that makes this a zero, the zero dollar budget. Yay. And it's a little tiny snowflake, two dollars and seven cents. So it's like these little, these little amounts are making, I've already sent, this will be 20, 20 extra dollars. I mean, that's like extra money. So that is what we plan to spend our paycheck on that we received today when you're viewing this. All right, guys, please, please, please. If you enjoyed this or if you enjoy or really maybe you don't enjoy meal planning, but you just want some help with it, um, subscribe to my channel, the April Holly Smith because that is what we do here and we love and support each other and make it happen. And if you want to see some fun stuff, like, you know, I was talking about with my blog channel, AHS Vlogs, click on subscribe to that too and see what's going on over there. We do a lot of fun things. We do daily vlogs. I do unboxings. I, oh, I get good stuff in the mail that I love to share with you. Um, so subscribe to both and that way I will see you next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching.